Tonight on a horrible crash that took the life of a man and injured two police officers last night in Hialeah. And we have now learned the man who died was a beloved teacher. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at the scene where it happened. And Peter, we understand that you've spoken with his family members. What are they saying? Well, Rick, they're telling me that Arrestus Amador Jr. was indeed a good man, and the school system is saying that he was a beloved math teacher at Dash in Midtown Miami. Now, it's not clear just how this accident happened, but we know for a fact the police are looking for surveillance tape. Hialeah police want to study this surveillance tape captured by a camera at Eduardo Valdez's business. It shows a car darting by his company on Hialeah Drive near the time of this horrible crash around 7 Tuesday night at East 5th Avenue. It left these vehicles that were covered by a tarpaulin, mangled, injured two Hialeah officers, and took the life of this man, 51-year-old Arrestus Amador Jr., a veteran math teacher at Dash, the Design and Architecture Senior High School, located here in Midtown Miami. Valdez will not forget what he heard. It sounded like an explosion, like the big explosion, boom, and that's it. I see so, something, something terrible happened there. The sentiments are echoed by Danny Gigi, who witnessed the aftermath of the accident by Charlie's Ice Cream Shop. Yeah, about 40 cars were here. There are like three fire trucks, two rescues. So it was pretty serious, I guess. I know that it hit the corner of um, Charlie's Ice Cream. Tiana Balleron says she might have been injured had she been working at the ice cream shop. It's scary because it could happen when I'm working here or it, thank God nothing like happened to my friend or anything because it could have been worse. Police are not saying how Amador lost his life and who may have been at fault in the accident and if the officers were on duty. They were identified as Ernesto Del Valle and Daniel Garcia Muniz. They were transported to Jackson Memorial Hospital. A CBS4 crew captured officers visiting the men at the Ryder Trauma Center. The accident prompted a tweet from school superintendent Alberto Carvalho, who said, painful way to start the year receiving news that one of our esteemed teachers lost his life in a terrible car accident. Prayers for those who loved him, including the Dash Phantoms family. Now, a source tells CBS 4 News that the injured officers were released from Jackson Memorial Hospital this morning. Meanwhile, police are not releasing any more information about this case, but they say it is being monitored by the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. Family members tell us they have not received any information from detectives about this case. We're live in Hialeah, Peter Nench, CBS 4 News.